Hi guys, we're in the car again, this time heading for Robin Hood's Bay. I've been told there's another whale washed up, so I'm gonna <coughs> head down there and take a walk, see if we can find it, see what's happened. Those of you who follow the channel will remember um, about a week ago we were down at Robin Hood's Bay um, came to look at a dead whale that had washed up over in the corner well it's about a week later maybe 10 days later and I'm back again a friend tipped me off that um, over there in the distance maybe about a mile away a place called um, North Cheek apparently there's another dead whale washed up so we're gonna um, have a walk head over there and see if we can find it Looking back into the distance there, back towards Robin Hood's Bay and uh, here comes two of the local surfers. Crazy guys are going to get in there, <laughs> it could be fun watching them. As you see the um, surface paddling out there, you can just see this thing sticking out the water here. If you look close, it's, it's full of bolts, and I think it's the, um, the, the boiler off an old shipwreck. Now, I don't know the name of this wreck, and I know it's here, I've seen it a lot before. I've seen it when I've been fishing in this area, but I can't remember the name of it. So, if there's anyone out there who knows the name of this wreck, uh, let us know in the comments below, be much appreciated. As I came round the corner there, I looked up to see uh, a really familiar sight. Uh, one that I've seen a lot and something not many people have ever seen is uh, a peregrine falcon. Absolutely amazing. It's, it's always fantastic to see those birds come past. Now there's quite a few of these anglers ropes up and down the coast, um, say the anglers use them, anglers mostly are the people who've put them in, but some walkers use them, some fossil collectors use them and uh, lots of people that use them really, but um, when you look at them you can see you know, there's a lot of places where it's sheer, there's a lot of places where you could easily lose your, your foot in and fall, and I think I just 
would give anyone a warning who's thinking of like starting to use these ropes just give it some serious thought you know it, it, you could easily fall to your death I mean I've used them for years and I'm still here um, getting a little bit older now and I think there's a few of them I, I, I'll never climb again now but um, I've done it over the years um, as I say I've fallen I've fallen off a ladder at, um, at Horska how I survived that I don't know I just ended up with a bruise but I fell 20 foot or more could easily have been dead I think I see the wheel now over there in the rocks at the back it was the smell that gave it away and um, the presence of a lot of seagulls I'll head over and take a closer look just looking at this wheel it's um, it doesn't look any bigger than the one I saw I think it was last week the other one was up there but it doesn't look any bigger in terms of length but it looks twice as fat <laughs> it's a lot wider um, it's also turning this horrible red colour I guess that's it rotting and it's covered in flies and it smells horrendous <laughs> <laughs> 